but it's nice that Squishables has a full range of products and again, you're not falling into the trap of being forced to buy something from a reseller. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Janie and I do videos on Squishmallow, Squishables, Build-A-Bear, and sometimes Loungefly hair care and skincare. I throw a couple things in there. It's kind of a variety channel. But today we're going to be breaking down the differences between Squishmallow and Squishables. I love them both and I actually discovered Squishables long before I did Squishmallow. So I want to break down the pros and cons of each of them, which ones I prefer, because quite honestly I feel like Squishables deserves a little bit more love in this community. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments and let's get started with this video. Squishables was founded in 2007. It has a headquarters in New York City in Soho and these are very cute. The shape of the stuffed animal always correlates to what it is. So if it's a Christmas tree, it's going to be shaped like a Christmas tree. If it's a beautiful seashell like this one, it's going to be shaped like that and so on and so forth. One of their most popular items is the Plague Doctor and the Plague Nurse. I have both of them. They come in a variety of different sizes. You have the minis, you have the micro minis, you have super super large ones that can retail for like $200 or more. Squishables range of stuffed animals is quite large and the best part for me is that they're much easier to attain than Squishmallow because they actually have brick and mortar stores. There's one in Long Island. I live on the east coast but there are a couple scattered throughout the country and I think that's very helpful because you're less likely to run into the pitfalls of having resellers upcharge. That's not to say they're always available. Sometimes the plate doctor I noticed will sell out quite often or the Luna Moth for example but generally they're a lot easier to obtain because of those brick and mortar stores and because they have an actual website that they keep up to date not just with the actual stuffed animals but also with puzzles and book bags and accessories which is actually something that Squishmallow is now starting to do. I noticed that there's school supplies coming out for Squishmallow and I'm super excited but it's nice that Squishables has a full range of products and again you're not falling into the trap of being forced to buy something from a reseller. They always also have a page that shows which designs they're going to be retiring and they often have a lot of interaction with their audience doing polls on what you would like to see next and all of these contests to decide the next Squishable that will be coming out. So these are some of my favorites. I have this beautiful one here. This is a mini. So this retails for $22. And then I have another mini here. This is a Phlox Christmas tree. There's also a normal one. They're just really cute. Got these two during the holiday market in New York City and Manhattan. There's one in Bryant Park and there's usually one at Union Square during that time of year. And it's a lot of fun. It's really cute. I also have their pop sockets and I have a couple things from Squishables because it is what I found first. Yes, they're a little bit expensive, but I feel like they're very well made and they're less likely to have an issue with the threading and the stitching and all that stuff. As for Squishmallow, they're all shaped very round and fluffy and ovally and it's just a lot of fun to hug. They're soft in a different way than the, than the Squishables are. So Squishmallow was founded in 2017 and they are super, super popular, of course. I mean, we've all seen what they go for on reselling apps like Mercari and Depod and all that stuff like they are selling for so much even on eBay like a strawberry cow will sell for $100 and that's not including the $50 shipping that people want to charge. I love Squishmallow. I think they're very soft. I love the oval appearance. It makes them very very huggable and the designs are just super cute. You cannot beat that price. A 16 inch one like the one I'm holding right now can cost like $20 if you're getting it from Target. Sometimes if you have a Walmart nearby it's even cheaper. Of course you're going to see them be a little bit more expensive at places like GameStop and Hot Topic, Claire's. But usually you can get a nice large size for not much money. Like at Costco when I went with Ellie, we saw 24 inch ones for like $17, which is insane and is wild. Usually the very large squishable ones will go for $250. The problem with Squishmallow, as I already kind of hinted at, is that it's it's really hard. There's such a there's such a demand for them that a lot of times it creates kind of like a scarcity where you're struggling and there's like hunting involved or you have to really look for it and if you miss out then that's it. And I think that adds an allure to it, to hunting and to having a large collection of Squishmallow, but it's also really frustrating in my opinion to see certain regions in the US or like other countries get some really, really good stuff and not have any access to it because Squishmallow 
doesn't sell all their products on their official website. There's a couple there, but a lot of them are sold out and you're never going to find a cow there. So that's just kind of the nature of the game, I guess. I want to see if that changes since they're expanding so much. There's like a Squishmallow Monopoly. There's the school supplies that I talked about. There's Halloween costumes coming out later this year. I'm hoping that that kind of helps quell some of that demand and that we kind of get more of a supply of these products so that we're not just constantly running and grabbing things so that people aren't able to just buy the whole thing and just resell it at a market up price online but we'll see i mean time will tell with that i love them both if you couldn't already tell i talk about them on this channel i do talk about squishmallow more than squishables solely because i get more views and i hate to be that person i hate to be so dependent on views but this channel is an added income that i really need because living in new york city is not cheap and yes i get paid a little bit more than minimum wage but it's still not enough to live in one of the most expensive cities in the country um i was born and raised here but as i continue to adult it really hits you just how hard it is to really move up in the world so i do focus a lot of my content on squishmallow but if you're interested in seeing more squishables i would love to really talk about it discuss zoo hauls i went to the store recently in long island and i loved it i got a budgie which speaking of which i have no idea where i put him but nonetheless, super cute store, and they just have everything. And the, my favorite part about Squishables that I forgot to mention is that there's a lot of food-based items, and I know Squishmallows is kind of coming out with that as well. I have my fruit squad from Squishables, from Squishmallow here. I get them confused tongue twister but the food items from squishables is so cute there's so many drinks involved and they're just fun and there's like beer and it's, it's just a cute gift i feel like i think it's a good quality stuffed animal that is often overlooked because squishmallow is so much cheaper and squishmallow is also a lot more huggable but i feel like these look really nice displayed because they hold their shape very well so those are my overall thoughts on squishables versus squishmallow i love them both um i will say i love squishmallow a little bit more just because some of their designs are just really cute like i prefer the squishmallow cow versus the squishable cow that's just a preference though let me know how you feel down below i'd love to hear your brutal honest thoughts on which one is better which one you prefer which one did you discover first um let me know down below and thank you so much for making it to the end of this video i really really appreciate it stay safe out there and i will see you soon with another one bye